after she shared with one of the women that she was a legion of Mary, they connected her to other people in Lisbon. Immediately, again, like-minded Catholics and people that belong to a common lay organization. So you are never alone. Part of the Legion of Mary is active duty, praying the rosary, but going to homes, home visitation, going to nursing homes. We don't, but I know some of the other legions go to the prison. Again, being active in prayer. And one of the beauties of home visitation is we've seen miracles. We've seen a lady with heart issues change. I remember one time we went into our house and our vital signs were very low. We prayed with her. We left the Pilgrim Virgin statues with her. Ten days later, our vital signs went back to normal and she was restored. This is the beauty of the Legion of Mary. And I share with you just a few of the things that the Legion of Mary does. But again, as a Legion, sharing in prayer, not only are you praying locally with your church group, but now you're also connecting internationally. Two years ago, the Legion of Mary had an international rosary. Every day, 700 people from all over the world connected. And on the chat line, they shared miracles that were happening. This is the power of the Legion of Mary. And so, being connected to our mother, and you know, we are all ontologically connected. And I know that's a big word. That means we are all part of the body of Christ. Mary is intensely our mother, as she is his mother, that is Christ. No Mary, no Christ. No Mary, no us. So let us join and come and consider being part of the Legion of Mary. And even if you're not able to be active, you can be an auxiliary. And what the auxiliary does is they pray the rosary every day. So there are many avenues that you can join with the Legion of Mary. Again, thank you.